Hello, this is Rob from Bims Models. Uh, this is my fourth update of the Mini R Stug Free. So I'd just like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. I really do appreciate all your comments. So now we're actually starting painting the interior. And this, what I'm using is um, Tamiya XF1, which is flat black. And I thinned it with Tamiya X20A. I'd say about 50-50, about I'd say. And what I'm doing, I'm holding it up and spraying it from every angle. Just making sure you, you get everything covered. I'm gonna I'm gonna be chipping, but I should do it with the sponge. Okay, so just keep moving it around, making sure there's no plastic showing. Point two needle, and I'd say I'm at about twenty psi. can prime any any primer I'll just chose this one because it's what I had to hand but there's no ejector pin marks or nothing to worry about the ones that are there are covered up And what I do as well, because I, I have to spray outside in the shed, I just speed the drying up with the air dryer. And I I don't glue the sides together, I paint them separate first. And then I'll glue them together once I've painted them and I've done all the detail painting. There's decals to fit as well. So it's easy to do them before you glue it all together. <laughs> I've glued on all the parts I can as well, because some parts are a different colour. And it's just easier just to paint them separate. Now also, when um, when I come to actually paint the colour, the front half is an off-white, and then the back half is a, a brown. But I'll show you the colours I'm using when I get to them. But everything is primed in this, the XF1. Now all these parts I'm just showing you here have all got to be sprayed, XF1. Now the photo etch parts as well have been treated with the Mr. Hobby, the metal primer. Again the engines, it's all built but I've done it in little sub assemblies. It's just easier just to paint it and then fit it after. Okay, so that now this is the transmission now. Now 
this was a little build on its own. The amount of parts in this. I've got to say, these these mini art kits are so detailed. So just keep moving your part around, gain it from every angle, just to make sure you've got no grey plastic showing through. Right now this is the brown, which is the XF64. Again. 20 psi, I'd say it's thinned 50-50, and I'm, all I'm doing is just painting the back half of this, the brown. I just build it up in layers. You don't, you don't want to flood it. These to me are paint spray absolutely lovely. And they dry really quick as well, which is handy. Especially if you're spraying out in the cold. Again, this is the front, the front of the tank, and on there is a couple of dry, of the pedals for the driver. But they I'll, I'll brush paint them because they are a different colour. The main colour is the XF64. Okay, back to the transmission. What I'll do on this one, I'll draw, I'll glue everything in, get the interior finished, and then I'll do the weathering then, because there's not that much you're gonna see. Okay, now we're doing the sides now. So all I'm doing is the back half. And then when it's dry then I'll mask it off. And then I'll do the off-white then. Just keep moving it around. Because there are a lot of little awkward bits to paint. So you don't want to glue it all together and find out you can see the grey plastic. I try and do a bit of keep the black as well for the pre-shading. So all I do is go out with a light coat and then just go a bit heavier than in the middles. Now these parts and spray now are the off-white. I 
and all I've done is used uh, Tamir XF2 and then I've just mixed a bit of the flat earth which is XF52 in there just to make it off the off white so it's got like a very slight tint to it I don't know what the ratio was but again I thinned it with the X20A and all I do is just go a light coat so the, the black showing through and then in the middles just go a bit heavier then just gives it a bit of a, a wet worn look So I just lightly over and then you can see I'm just going heavier in the middle. Again I've changed nothing, the air pressure is still the same. It's exactly the same mix. Now these here I'm painting now is the the storage racks for the shells. Again, just make, trying to keep the pre-shading showing through. That on the front I'm spraying now is actually photo etch. Uh, all I did was the uh, Mr. Hobby, the metal primer. I gave it a couple of coats of that, and then I I just sprayed it the the XF black then, the XF one. Right, this colour now is the Tamiya ACXF 63. And all I'm doing is just the engine.
Well, you can see I'll just, just keep moving it around. Okay, this now is XF56, which is metallic grey. When this is fitted, you can't actually see it. Because it goes underneath the floor, so it'll be covered. I'm doing now is XF25 which is C grey right now I'm painting the shells and I'm using X12, which is gold leaf, and I, I find it easier to leave them on the sprues and paint them actually on the sprues, it's a lot easier. And then all I do then is cut them off and just touch up where the sprue gates are. But you're not going to see it anyway because they're covered. They're actually, when, they're, when they're in the racks, you only see the back piece. And then all you got to do then is the decals to put on the ends. I then paint the front bits, the um, MIG, which is, I think it's 017, which is steel. So again, just keep moving your, your parts around, making sure it's all covered. Right now I'm starting to glue the parts together now. I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't show you me spraying every part. I'll just spray and show you a few. And then I'll give you a, a close up then when it's all glued together. It's just a shame the engine has to be covered up. You could, I've looked, you could leave the the back cover loose 
and you can leave the top loose so you can just lift them off so you can see inside these are when I've when I fitted them I'll rust them up There's little locating pins and holes as well to help you get them in the right place. And all I do is just a little dab of, to me, a but this is the, uh, this is not the quick setting one, this is the normal one. And also, what I've done as well, where the little contact points are, I've just scraped the paint off. It just helps it when you glue them, it just helps glue the parts together, but you get a stronger thick blood. But to paint all that when you fitted them all, it would have been really tricky. I'll show you when I come to weather it. I'll show you on a separate video how I, how I go about doing it. Right, just gluing the last parts on there. As you can see, the fit is absolutely beautiful fit. Okay, so that's the engine finished. Right, so I'm gluing more parts. And all this is, is super glue from the pound shop. Again, I've just scraped the the paint out a bit, just to make sure it, because it with the painting it can, because it fits that tight. A bit of painting there could throw it all out. But all you gotta do is just keep test fitting, just to make sure. And I'm just making sure it's square. Now I'm fitting the floor and there's little locating pins again just to help you with the location. I shouldn't have put the glue on that one. 
But it don't matter though, because I do wipe it off. On there that's where that thing the gun goes on there so all I've done again super glue and I'm just holding it down with some clips just to hold it and then when it's dry then I'll just run the extra fin around it just fitting the, the driver's seat and that's painted the off-white and then the actual cushion bit is black. Okay, so I'm fitting the battery on now. Like I said, there is a cover that goes on there, but I've, de I've decided to have it open. But it's really detailed. So all I'm showing you there is I've just got my knife and I've just scraped the edges just to make sure there's no paint. And it just slides in beautifully, it's an absolutely lovely fit. I'll do I'll put it all together first and then tape it make sure it's all square then I'll glue it That seat there as well, you can have that open or closed, the same with the shelves on the side piece. You can leave them out and have the racks folded in. So all I've done now is just running the glue around, making sure you don't get the glue underneath the tape. But on the front there, there's a piece that glues on the front. So if you do get a bit of glue on there, it's going to be covered up. All I'm doing is just keep making sure it's square and all the parts are pushed together. Now I'm gluing on the inside here because you're not going to see that because uh, when the fans are in there that, that's all covered up. So all I've done there, I've just removed the tape and then glue it and then just stick it back down then. I'm just making sure it's squeezed together, but don't squeeze it too hard because you don't want the glue oozing out. So 
So I'll, I'll just show you where I'm running the glue round. Okay, so that's the lower hull nearly finished. There's still a few little parts to fit. But I've just got them ready for painting. And then I'll fit them off camera. And then what I'll do when I, when you see it, when I start weathering it, then I'll show you it all complete. So that's this update finished. So if you like what you see, uh, please subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, you make sure you won't miss any videos. So like, like I said, a big thank you. And I really do appreciate everything.